In this mini clip, we will be discussing scientific notation and significant figures. We will be talking about these topics while we answer this question here. The question reads, perform the operation 5.97 times 30.0 and write the solution in scientific notation using the correct number of significant figures. To begin this question, let's solve for the product of these two numbers. We have 5.97 which is multiplied by 30 decimal zero. We can either use a calculator to solve for the answer or we can do it manually. In either case, you should get the result of 879 decimal one. Now we need to round this number to the correct number of significant figures. To determine how many significant figures our final answer will have, we're going to have to look at the number of significant figures in each of the two numbers that were multiplied together in the original question. It's very important to look at the original data that's given to you when determining significant figures. So the number that will have the least amount of significant figures will determine how many significant figures our final answer will have. Taking a look at our first number, 5.97, you'll notice that we have three significant figures, one, two, and three. Our second number, 30.0, also has, has three significant figures one, two, and three. These zeros are considered significant. Since both of our numbers have three significant figures, therefore our final answer will also have three significant figures. I just wrote on the side what it is I just said because it is very important. Since both 5.97 and 30.0 have three significant figures, therefore our final answer will have three significant figures. So our answer of 179.1 needs to be rewritten with only three significant figures. The 1, the 7, and the 9. This means that we need to get rid of anything after the 9 which in our case is just the one. In order to get rid of this one, we have to round. Since this is the last number we want in our answer, we need to look at the number immediately to its right, this one. Since one is less than five, therefore we don't need to round up. We're simply going to leave the nine as is. So rewriting this answer with three significant figures will give us 179. Now in brackets, I'm going to write three significant figures. And for short, I'm just going to write sig figs for significant figures. Lastly, we need to write this number in scientific notation. To write this number in scientific notation, we want our decimal to be after the first significant figure. In our case, the first significant figure is the one. So we want one followed by decimal, and then we write the numbers following the one, which in our case is seven and nine. Now we're going to multiply this number by a power. And this power will have a base of 10. The exponent of this power will depend on which direction we moved the decimal and how many times we moved it. In our case, our decimal of 179, even though it's not written here, it is assumed to be after the nine. 
Any number that ends in the ones column always has a decimal after it, but we usually don't write it. So, the decimal started here, and it ended up after the one. So we had to move it to the left. Because we moved it to the left, that means that our exponent will be positive. Now we need to determine the value of our exponent. Well, because our base of our power is 10, we have to move the decimal one number at a time, or by a factor of 10. So we started off here, and we moved it over once and twice. And because we moved it to the left, we have a positive exponent. We moved it twice, so the value of our exponent is 2, and it is positive because we moved the decimal to the left. So our final answer, correct to three significant figures and in scientific notation, is 1.79 times 10 to the exponent 2.